So the first rule in better note taking in Notion starts with creating a note itself. I have a button here to create a new note. If I click on that here, you'll see that it's a very clean streamlined design. I have a bunch of properties, but they're hidden. And the only ones that are showing are the ones that are basically required to take a note and to be categorized in my system. So I automatically default make it a note versus a research note versus a loom or a video. And then in my system, and I'll talk about this when I get to documentation, it's required that each node has either an area, a resource, or it's categorized as a, as a specific work project. And then I have the title, obviously I'll title the note. And then one of the best features of Notion, if you're not using it, is the template. So create a couple of different templates and then you can actually use them when you create a new note. So I have a work meeting note template, I have a book template, and I have research note template that I use quite frequently. So this is kind of one of the best things to do with Notion. Creating a note itself is really streamlined. The second rule to better note taking is to make sure you have good documentation. And what I mean by that is making sure that as you're changing in terms of how you take notes, and how the system works is to always document what the system looks like and making changes. So this is a living, breathing document. And I like to talk about what the purpose of my note-taking system is, kind of the philosophy behind it. You know, as we're thinking about AI and the new Q&A feature in Notion, I'm thinking about that and how that could maybe make my system potentially obsolete. So I like to kind of write that into my system and my system's all about being simple and minimum as possible. And then I think in terms of designing the system, I think this is a requirement when you are creating a note taking system in Notion is to actually write out all the different properties you're using and defining what they're for. So for my system here, I have the note name. That's pretty easy to kind of understand what that's going to be. The type of note I have, is it a note? Is it a reference or a resource? And then I use something very similar to Tiago Forte, which is PARA system, which is projects, areas, resources, and archive. It's a variant of his system. And I always think about what works is what works for you. You know, I even say, you know, these projects and areas that they're relational properties. So I know, and I also kind of, you could see here, I have kind of a code format I've code here that says this is required I need to have a type to for every note and then for projects it's optional for for my system and then I have areas and resources I have to have one or the other for every note and then I have a favorite property you might have seen that when I showed you my new note but I have a checkbox property where I can click and say it's a favorite and I'll talk about why that's so important when it comes to having a great dashboard and getting into notes really really quickly and then the other thing that I think is really important if you're creating a note taking system in notion is to have those areas or, or tags or however you want to like categorize your notes and defining what other, what each of those categories are. So for me, I have areas or buckets or roles in my life and I limit this to like nine and I have an optional 10 here, but these are the nine roles in my life. Work is pretty self-explanatory, notes related to work. And then I have relationships, but what does that mean, right? So for me, relationships means anything to do with friends, family, gift ideas, dating life, all that's in relationships. Health and fitness, this is where all medical documents are, running notes, fitness notes, nutrition, home and living includes car. So maybe some, some for someone else, home and living does not include car. But I think it's really good to write down these categories and define what they are. It makes taking notes so much more easier when you've defined what the categories are and you stick within that in that border. And then resources are topic areas of interest. And if you're familiar with PARA, the PARA system, I've pulled my hair thinking about the difference between an area versus a resource. And I think it's minutia. Don't worry too much about it. And I, I have my system's pretty flexible in, in the fact that I can make it an area, a resource, or a project. So I try to make it very flexible. It's not that big of a deal if it's an area or a resource. It's just a way to help categorize the note. So I have resources here and I have a, quite a few different resources I might add to this, but I try to limit this. So when I'm creating a new net note, I'm not boggled down. I, I don't I don't like I forget about what the tag is or what the category is. So limiting the resources and the areas makes creating notes so much more simple and easy. And this is very much different than my previous system where I used like extensive tags and I just don't think that's really necessary in Notion and I don't think it's actually effective in the way Notion works. You can't search through tags. So don't don't use that type of system in Notion. My third rule on better note taking in Notion has to do with the master note database. This is really important anytime you make create a new database and you're creating dashboards or, or duplicate versions of it, do not touch that master database. And I have the master database, the areas, projects, work projects, all this stuff is hidden in a toggle. 
I don't touch that. If you go in there and start making edits to that, it's going to screw up your entire system, especially if you've made duplicates of the databases. So keep that in check, hide that, don't touch that as you build your system out. The fourth rule in good note taking in Notion has to do with dashboards. And this is what my dashboard looks like. To be honest with you, I've stolen this from Thomas Frank, who is a great YouTuber and a Notion expert. Highly recommend you check out his videos. But if you think about it, when you look at any good note taking system, and we can look at Apple Notes or Bear or any note taking system, the design of it, how it's set up is kind of the same. Like we're not reinventing the wheel here. So it's good to just sort of steal from, from those designs. And if you look at any good noting system, you're always going to be working with recent notes, notes you've just taken. So the one we just kind of created that's untitled, it's right there at the top. So we can start working with it. So we have recent notes here and we have favorites. And these are anything that's been favorited that you're, you want to make sure it goes to the top. And then we also have the favorite favorites for each of the different buckets, the areas and resources that I'm going to show you in just a second. And then here, as I mentioned, resources and areas, I can drill down into these different resources or into these different areas and find notes, especially when I'm like, I know it's in health and fitness, but I don't know what the note is called. And searching in Ocean is pretty good, but it's not amazing. So this helps in terms of knowing what category did I put that into? For example, if you're looking for your TSA pre-check number, if I go into my travel and adventure dashboard, again, same setup, recent notes, favorite notes. Ah, there it is, pre-check number. I click on there, find it, and I can paste it into the booking website or the airline website. So travel credit cards and uh, credit cards and travel points, I click on there. I know exactly how many points I have. So it really helps to kind of drill down into these different resources. And I have one for, you can see, for health and fitness. This is a area of my life. Oh, my 20, 2024 health insurance information. Boom, I click on that. I know exactly where it's at. Maybe I forgot about how I named it, but at least I know it's in health and fitness and I favorited it. So it's always going to be at the top. So these are some of the notes I have for these different buckets. So I just wanted to show you what my new noting system looks like. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys use something similar to what I use, take care of yourself and I'll see you guys in the next one.